bitch. You don't fuck with you, cause you don't fuck with bitch niggas, and you know it ain't a hidden love. Scanning ass bitch there. Yeah. this reaction video i need all y'all to go to itunes and type in lv skinny y'all gonna find all the music that we've been working hard to put out you know what i'm saying like all the music that we've been working hard for you're gonna find music from me kales young two leader you know what i'm saying the whole gang so yeah i need y'all to go to itunes and type in lv skinny y'all can do it right now or y'all can do it after the video you know what i'm saying but yeah man let's get into it what's good youtube it's your boy lv skinny and today we had to discuss two things, you know what I'm saying? One being, where the fuck has Eminem been? And, and Well, not where has he been, because he just dropped the album, but where has he been since MJ, MGK got out? And two, is there a diss track coming out? Because Eminem's fans, you know what I'm saying? I see, yeah, just give him two days. MGK is done. He's fucking dead in these streets, B. Like, and you know what I'm saying? Niggas has been saying all this. And then I think back on, like, Drake and Meek Mill's beef, uh, Drake and Pusha T. Um, I can't really think of anyone else's right now that was like a, in today's time, when a diss, is, when a diss record drops, everybody's like, yo, we need to hear the diss back. Like, we need something. And it's been about a week now. And Eminem hasn't responded. You know, it, it doesn't take that long to write some bars, you know what I'm saying? MGK, as soon as he seen it, he got on it. He did it. He made it happen. 25 million views in like two days. Now, enough, again, two things. I do want to see the diss track back from Eminem. The fact that it's taken a little minute has, you know what I'm saying, got me iffy. Either he don't really got that the, the shit to get for him or... He's perfecting it and really making sure it's hot as fuck. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like he has anything for him. He might, but I just feel like he realizes that. Damn, MGK really did just come at me. So the shit, I, the next shit, has to be that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I did see from Eminem's team, they said he was working on it. They would hate to be MGK, like <laughs> MGK's dead, fucking dead beat. Like you know what I'm saying? They niggas is really. Saying all this shit. And me, when I first said, I'm like, oh, boy. MG, another white boy is coming out dissing Eminem? And Eminem ain't respond? Ain't like, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. But we finna check out what Eminem is teasing, you know what I'm saying? I think Eminem would be responding to MGK so quickly. And if he did, I thought it would be like on his next album. But after what he just posts on that Instagram, man, it looks like this is really about to happen. Hey, if you guys are new around here, hit them. Hold on, before we get into it. See, like, that shit is not fair. When when that Drake shit was happening, they was like, you got 72 hours, you got 48 hours, you got this amount of time to respond or you're fucking dead and he wins the battle. Eminem's went way past this time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, M MGK won the battle. Now, I don't know about the war. Like, they've had an ongoing war for years that, like, it's just now being pushed to mainstream, but they've been battling. But, like, I don't know who finna win this war. I don't know. Subscribe button and support the channel. But anyways, let's just get into it. So real quick, let's recap why Eminem and MGK are even beefing in the first place. It started with a tweet that MGK sent out back in 2012 talking about Eminem's daughter. He said, okay, I just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter and I have to say, she is hot as in the most respectful way possible because M is king. Now the main problem with this is that Eminem's daughter was 16 at the time and MGK- That is a big fuck up, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Because in today's time, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's like- if you're on the internet, everyone just assumes you're of age. You're, like, people assume that they can fuck you, you know what I'm saying? You bitch to be like 14, 15, 16, looking like 23. Like, this shit is a, a, a big, you know what I'm saying, a big mind fuck. But with me, my first thing is, with the bitch, I'm, hey, how old is you? Let me get, you motherfuckers ain't about to catch me. Like, shit, I, I would hate to be in... MGKs ain't that bad, but like 6'9". 
how niggas is really every single day, you're a fucking pedophile, you're a rape, like, yo, I know that shit hurt. K was around like 22, so I could see why Eminem would have a problem with this. Now, MGK later talked about Eminem in an interview with Hot 97. He said that Eminem had essentially been blackballing him, keeping him from going to like Shade 45 with Sway for interviews, stuff like that. And we never heard Eminem speak about this at all until his new album, Kamikaze, where he took some shots at MGK. Now you want to come and f*** with me, huh? This little must be feeling himself. He wants to keep up this tough demeanor so he does a feature decides to team up with Nina. But next time, you don't gotta use Tech 9 if you wanna come at me with a sub machine gun. And I'm talking to you, but you already know who the f you are, Kelly. I don't use sublims insurance, f don't sneak this, but keep commenting on my daughter, Haley. This then, of course, let. Like, that, that's bars, but just for me, it's not what I'm trying to read, damn it. Like, MGK's was straight to the point. That nigga said, your beard's weird. Like, people took that as, oh, okay. He has a weird beard. But no. Like, he was talking about from one of Eminem's old songs, talking about, like, when Eminem grow old and his things get weird or his beard, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And, and just the, everything in it was direct. Like, it wasn't like, Oh, yo, did he just say that? No, it was like, yo, MGK really doesn't care about his life. Like, he's being very disrespectful. Uh, he doesn't give a fuck, honestly. He said he, he made fun of Eminem's height. Like, <laughs> shit's outrageous. Right, guess Led to right. MGK dropping Rap Devil, dissing Eminem, and that is where we are. We've been patiently waiting for this Eminem response. And with what he posted on Instagram, it looks like it could be coming any day. I gotta see this. Now something I noticed with the release of his album Kamikaze is that Eminem seems more in touch than ever. There was a time when it felt like Eminem wasn't really keeping in touch with what was going on currently in rap, but this album was different and you could feel that. And I think I know why that is. He actually made a video on Instagram a few months back saying that he was taking personal control over his social media, <laughs> specifically Twitter. And with that came all of the bad selfies, but I think it has made a pretty big impact on Eminem. Being aware of what's going on is important, but not just yeah, that. Yeah. Social media is a great platform for entertainers to you know hype up fans when something is about to happen that's facts and the thing about him not being in touch with social media and stuff you have to be in touch if you really want to be a the big person that you was 10 15 years ago you know what i'm saying when all these this internet shit wasn't around you can't keep doing the shit you was doing then you have to adjust the shit people be like oh no i like him because he's sticking true he okay he can stick true and, you know, keep you as a fan. Cool. But if you want to expand and meet different markets and, you know what I'm saying, do different shit than the shit you've been doing for the past 10 years, my nigga, you got to try new things. You got to, like, learn about stuff. You got to, like, even with Jay-Z, he his rap style, he's not rapping the same back then. Like, he has changed it up because he's realized that, shit, everything ain't a boom bap beat. Everything ain't, uh, like... I don't know. Everything ain't the same. Like, you have to have to adjust, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, And Eminem is doing just that. So yesterday on Instagram, Eminem teased his response to MGK on Instagram Live with this video. All right, well, I can't actually play the video itself. Uh, all right, this, song. this is outrageous. I already knew about this, and they was basically saying because MGK got the, the Pac-Man tattoo across his neck or chest, something like that, and... Eminem is playing Pac-Man. I don't know, man. What the fuck? Be direct. Uh, we ain't got time to, to think about all this shit. We're waiting on you to diss MGK, to get rid of MGK, to murder him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't have time to look at you playing Pac-Man. Um, we don't have time to think about, oh, shit, maybe this is a, a subliminal dick, like, our people's attention spans in 2018 is not that long. Like, that, okay, when um, Eminem's whole album dropped, people went crazy for that first day or two type shit. Then, MGK dropped a whole fucking five-minute diss track on Eminem. No disrespect to Eminem, but I have not seen as many people talking about his album as I did. At, everywhere I go, yo, you heard MGK's diss track? Yeah, he killed him. Like, 
everywhere I go, that's all I hear. And just, you know what I'm saying, for it, because when it first happened, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, yo, yeah, he did this, but Eminem really, tomorrow, we're going to wake up. Next day, we're going to... It's been about a week, a week and a day or two from um, since then. Uh, still ain't got shit. Still ain't got nothing. Besides a video of him playing fucking Pac-Man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, MGK, he's the new white boy in town, I guess. I, playing in the background. Don't know, man. It's literally Eminem sitting there playing Pac-Man. That's it. Two minutes of Eminem playing Pac-Man. No, no, hold up. Hold up, before you click off the video, this is huge. There is more than meets the eye with this video, and it is 100% confirmation that Eminem is working on a response to MGK. So before Eminem dropped his album Kamikaze, he went on Instagram Live, and he played a feed of like some Air Force planes or something like that, flying around for about seven minutes, then he cut off the Instagram Live feed, and his album Kamikaze dropped. He was teasing that album, and no one had any idea until it already came out. And Eminem is doing the exact same thing here with this Pac-Man livestream. If you guys didn't know this, MGK has Pac-Man tatted across his neck. He's got Pac-Man eating the dots, chasing a ghost right across his neck. You know what that means? Eminem is going for the throat. This is a oh, super good way for Eminem to like let everyone know he's about to play an insane track. And he's not going to be playing any games. Except for maybe Pac-Man. Some of you guys might think this sounds ridiculous or that it might be a stretch, but I'm telling you, Eminem doesn't... It's not ridiculous. It's fucking corny. Like, yeah, oh my gosh, that means he's gonna, he's coming for his neck. Like, bro, we in 20 fucking 18. You can come for someone's neck forever. Like, Takashi comes for people's neck all day fucking long. Telling people to suck his dick and shit like that. There isn't no, like, warning of who he's about to tell him to suck his dick neck. Like, no, it's just a... Uh. Fuck you, you did fuck like, I don't know, it's just straight to the point. And that's what motherfuckers want in 2018. Straight to the point. Not like a, yeah, I'm talking about you, kept, like, I don't know. We ain't got time to be playing around. And respect to Eminem for being, you know what I'm saying, the great that he is. But in today's society, niggas don't care. Niggas don't give a fuck who you are. Niggas don't give a fuck for what you did. Soon as you piss one person off or you do something that you say something about a lot of people, then you got every well, fuck you, fuck. It doesn't matter who you are or what you done done. If motherfuckers want to disrespect you and like want to say what the fuck they want to say, they're gonna do it. So you know what I'm saying. I, I I don't know what to say about this. I'm declaring victory for MGK. Like I don't know. What Eminem is going to come with that, you know what I'm saying, that had to take a week or maybe two weeks to come out. But I'm declaring it MGK. Like, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube, I'm out. He gon' to the den, he gon' boo Five minutes, then we out back looking for the loot I ain't wanna have to do what I did Had to get drunk on racks, now I ride with a stick Stick him up, had to get him for a squid I said, hey, P, I'ma sell two for the six Got his ass switched bags, gave him it Got home, broke it down, now his ass looking pissed Niggas thinking they come off with a diss Tell your ass and I'm gone and you just gon' be missed